Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So this video, we're gonna talk about the not operator, which actually just takes whatever expression you have and inverts it. So if you're working with a Boolean, let's say subscribed, what you can do is say not subscribed and it will check if it's false. So let's get rid of the and for a minute just so we can focus. If not subscribed, then it'll say something like redirecting to subscription page. And we'll get rid of this other stuff here. So now we're not looking for a true value, we're actually looking for a false value. So if subscribed is true, and we say if not subscribed, it's not going to run. Running this you can see, oh, I actually forgot a colon, geez guys. We run this and you can see nothing happens. However, if we are not subscribed, then it'll redirect to the subscription page right there. Now the if statement still has to evaluate to true to execute, it's just that the condition we're using is a little bit different. So it looks at this and says, not subscribed? Hmm, that expression is true. And if you want proof of that, you can go in here and say print not subscribed. Run this and you get the value true. That's because subscribed is currently false and not will negate it to true, which is why the if statement executes. So if you're new to logic, it can be a little bit confusing and it might even be more confusing when you do it in compound statements, but you can. So for example, we can say if not subscribed and points is less than like 30, for example, then it will redirect. And let's say our points are 20. In this situation, it should still redirect. If one of these was different, let's say subscribe was true, it would not execute. There you go. Oh, you know what? Here's a better illustration of the not operator. If not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then what do you gotta do? Slap that sub button. And of course, you're already subscribed, so this is not gonna happen. You don't need to hit that subscribe button again. No worries. Thanks guys, and stay tuned for the next video.